Nerds Talking, the podcast. Yo, we talk about lightsabers, stunning to TV screens, what you want to stream, everything beyond your dreams. Want to talk about movies, sports, or even politics. Go ahead and tune into us, we'll give you all of it. Whatever you're debating, Xbox or PlayStation, Marvel or DC, Mac or PC. Teraflops when the movie drops, gigabytes, chips, RAM, no matter what it is, we got all of it. Welcome to the show. Nerds Talking, the podcast. Welcome to Nerds Talking the Podcast. I'm Lafayette. I'm here with Carlos, Johnny. Hello. Johnny, hey. say hello or hey or whatever you whatever it is you greet your friend. What do you how do you greet your friends? Just like just a good old regular hey. Huh? It, it it depends, right? I mean, sometimes it's so so trying, trying to be cool. Yeah, and like if cool. you haven't seen them in a long time, and or or because you you don't want to like start hugging them and then they'd be like just hold out their hand for a handshake so you oh, want to reciprocate is... it right oh so you're stuck mid-hug you're like oh that one is, yeah that's a weird one i've had that where the friend goes in for the hug and you're just like you're expecting like just a quick high five or something like, oh, even it's just we're not friends like that yeah and i'm like well, what's when you give him the one arm hug you just kind of turn sideways and give him the one arm hug oh i actually go wrap around him and give him the old tug what see how he reacts you spin them around and give them a tug. I go behind them like Heimlich, but instead I, you know, I do. I give them the Heimlich. I want them, I want them to spit something out. <laughs> <laughs> Nerds talking. I see everyone. what you did there. Nerds talking. You, there. you see that? That's a jizz riddle. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> a jizzle. Oh uh, man, something really happened, really bad to Johnny and Carlos, and I feel I feel horrible about it. I just feel like I can't believe it. They went through it. It's a coming of age story. Coming of age story. It's yeah. it's, it's 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 pretty bad. I, Basically, hmm. it's a, but these guys had to go through something really bad. F nine, and that's not something on their key on their computer that because porn was detected. This is uh, they had to watch Fast and Furious nine because we were like we made a pact we're gonna all watch it together and we're gonna review it on the show. Well, one pussy dropped out, couldn't do it. What a bitch. And then the other two were like, I'm going to watch it because I like Vin Diesel. So before no, we no, start. Because it was a request. It was a family. request. It was From actually. Family. The sad part Family's was I forever. made the request and I didn't watch it. Um, <laughs> what Fast 9 movies have you seen before you review this movie? Mm. Seen them all. Really? Uh, yeah. God, what the hell? Life. Jesus Good Lord, man. Life. You hate yourself, huh? Good I'm I think I've seen. Man. I'm invested. One, <laughs> two. Mm-hmm. The first one with the Rock. The second one with the Rock. I was six. Oh, the one before the Rock, where they drove the five. car out of that building in Dubai. Yeah, I think that's five. Yep. No, my and bad. Then, that's four. It's four. And then nine. So I didn't watch them all. But I've I, seen majority one, of them though. Tokyo Drift. I didn't see Tokyo Drift. Uh, I've seen five, six. I didn't see Hobbs and Shaw. You guys see that one? No. Yeah, I and, saw that. Johnny has it on loop it. right oh, now, shit. playing behind him. He loves and I did the rock. see nine just because how ridiculous all these movies are. But you two saw nine. T- just give me the excitement. Like, imagine it was an Oscar movie and you guys were like, oh my God. How would you sell this movie to an individual like myself that will not watch it? Let me just tell you when this movie started, the ridiculousness started right away. Uh, oh man. From driving a Jeep pickup truck across a falling bridge. I don't know how they even got it across the bridge. But then when Vin Diesel did his trick and he decided, you know what? I'm going to go across this gap with my car, hit the nitros, and I'm somehow going to grab this cable around the axle or whatever he grabbed it with the car someone he was so good at it he just grabbed it and he swung across this gap how the cable didn't pull the front end of the car off pretty goddamn good car it's american made apparently and then when it got to the other side and it rolled and it tumbled and neither one of them was wearing a seatbelt, and all the windows were broken and they didn't fall out that's some good shit right there the transporter that- did something like that where he had a bomb on the bottom of the car and 
he like went off a jump and then the, there was a hook on a crane and he got it off because he's a really good driver. I mean, he's a great driver. I, I can understand that. That I can understand. <laughs> that, that's real. Yeah. But, <laughs> that's that's, that's serious. That's fake. <laughs> yeah. Well, right when that scene happened, I was thinking to myself, what are, this is supposed to end after 11. Okay. So I was thinking to myself, what are they going to do with 10 and 11? Are they going to like race on the moon and go to Mars? And then, Lo and behold, they didn't disappoint me, man. They Lo didn't disappoint home. me. <laughs> oh, they went Tyrese to space. Tyrese went to space. <laughs> to space. I, I did hear that uh, 10 or 11 will also be a crossover with Jurassic Park. That would be awesome. Because now the dinosaurs are here here on, on you know, in the States. So only person that can stop them is uh, Toretto. Toretto. Which is, what is his first name? Dom, Dominic. Dominic. Dom Toretto. Dominic so, Toretto. which was the most ridiculous scene? Well, space is the most ridiculous scene. Space. What is the most ridiculous car stunt in the movie? Because I've seen some crazy ones in the movie. There's, for instance, the one where they jump from cliff to cliff and they catch the hook in the front, like a like a Tarzan. Oh, well, that type was of in shit. this one. That was the beginning of this. What one. I mean, I'm talking about this yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. Then there's the one where they smash through like an 18 wheeler or, or end up in an 18 wheeler or where they, the car like kind of turns sideways and they, they smash through a, a storefront or something and they go through it. And, oh, and it ends up in a box truck. That was in John a box Cena's truck. Car. And then they, yeah. do, do they get out of the box truck and drive the box truck, right? No, they're, they're driving the box truck and they, that's how they catch John Cena, but mm. you don't know how they catch him. They have these giant ass magnets. Yeah. And they turn it on and it sucked them through the storefront into the truck. It, it, it doesn't oh, suck. The magnet doesn't go to a metal object. Everything comes to you. And they yeah. use it as, you know, like to throw shit at you. Yeah, that was, uh, it was pretty ridiculous. Yeah, magnet. That, <laughs> the funny thing that is, Ludacris ridiculous. is supposed to be like the, the science guy in the group. And he even he couldn't tell them, you know, magnets don't work that way, right? They just don't work that way. Because in the one scene where they like, everybody ducked so they could turn the magnets on and grab the guns out of all these guys and the... <laughs> pins from their tear gas i'm like you know your jackets have zippers and shit on them right and your watches and your earrings all that shit's gonna suck i was waiting for like (sighs) fucking cock rings to come out or nipple (laughs) rings and like oh what the fuck turn the magnet it it was it was (laughs) there's fillings i mean like i don't know but I've already spent this much time on it. I'm going to see fucking 10 and 11, even though The man. Rock's not going to be in them. You're a trooper. No, he said he's done with them. But he's so, going to do another Hobbs and Shaw, though. So he's still going to make some money. Well, I don't think that's going to happen. Well, that's kind of silly, too. It's just, well, if from what because, I understand, uh, Vin Diesel owns the franchise of Fast right. and Furious. And if well, no, does, no, it's not going to happen because Jason <laughs> Statham said he won't do it unless he gets paid equal what The Rock gets paid for part two. He should have got paid equal or more than the rock because he's a veteran actor i don't give a but shit the rock, the rock sells the movie let's be honest he's he, you're, the, Jason you're watching Statham that. can still save a sell a movie though nah, i'll go watch a statham not like movie. the rock you're not gonna go if the rock wasn't if, let's say that movie was jason statham and emily blunt um no no like give me Jungle another Cruise. like give me another <laughs> Are you watching it <laughs> you know no i'm not watching that one give me another like you know person that you would put in rock's place that you think could sell that movie which movie? Oh, yeah, Hobbs, Hobbs and Shaw. Shaw. Yeah. Vin Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Dom and it Shaw. Would, Dom because Shaw. it's just another. Fa- it'd be F ten. Yeah. There you go. There you go. And nobody fucking dies in these F- in these Fast and Furious movies. Han is still alive. Oh, yeah. Like I won't uh, die. Yeah, Han is alive. Yeah, Han is alive. And, and they um, brought everybody from Tokyo Drift. They're in this one too. What's it? Little Bow Wow's in it. Yeah, Bow Wow's in it. Sling Blade is in it. Um. The sidekick from the warrior, that Japanese dude, he's in it. Mm. But he I wasn't in um, the other ones. But who? Oh, Gal Gadot makes up an appearance with the flashback. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, she's in it. Everybody's yeah. in this goddamn movie. And Movies. everybody's related to Dom. Yeah. Dom's sister. Is that is Dom's sister Paul Walker's wife? Is that yes, yeah. that's the whole catch. Yeah, she's in it, but she can't find him. He disappeared. Um, what do you mean? Isn't that what she says? Where that's how she explains where he's at. No, he's taking care of the kids. He's he's babysitting. Oh, he's babysitting. He yeah, sent yeah. her. I'm like, he's hey, gonna yo, protect the family. I got shit to do. You go. I gotta clean up the jello and the egg white. Oh, I so gotta... Paul Walker's not in it. 
No, but they reference him, and then at yeah. the very end, they're like, you know, don't say grace. We're waiting for one more person, and then the little Subaru comes up the street. So oh, it's like, oh, the Subaru. That's sad. You didn't see yeah. that part? The after credits? No, it was the after credits. After, after he showed his son the like the place where his dad used to race, I'm like, that's right. <laughs> you didn't even follow through. I'm pretty Another, sure, like, like five minutes. I'm pretty sure, away. like when you thought, was, well, did you walk away? Or did you just tear this TV off the wall and just throw it in the trash, assuming the movie's like stuck in there forever. No one can watch this anymore. <laughs> this movie's cursed in his television. <laughs> I mean, my options were to finish the movie or take care of my baby. And guess what? My you baby went hungry for 20 F is for family. <laughs> the Fast and Furious yeah. family. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that, that guy who played Young Dom, they dubbed Vin Diesel's voice, right? Because that's totally sounded like Vin Diesel, like old Vin Diesel. I don't know. It sounded like it. It's like, man, he's doing a really good old ass Vin Diesel. I know young John Cena was about two feet smaller than then Dom, and then all of a sudden, they're the same height. See Cena's arms, man? It's bigger than Vin Diesel's head. His biceps. Like, holy shit, man. That guy's... And that movie was also filmed, what, maybe three years ago? Because it got pushed back due to COVID, you know? Oh, that's true. It was supposed to come out in 2020. So, um, yeah, no, I mean, what'd you guys rate it? Give me a review rating. Now, Now, don't, you know, it's a Fast and Furious movie. Give it a Fast and Furious rating. You know, like you want me to say real fast or yeah, yeah, really yeah. loud and furiously. <laughs> yeah, say two point five. <laughs> it wasn't too fast though. Sorry. I so two and a half. Clear. Okay, two and a half. Yeah, two and a half. Uh... I'll give it a two and a half only because the ridiculousness makes it more entertaining, especially the space shit. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, I mean, uh, oh my god. I I know I knew what I was watching going into it. Like, it's like watching uh, Pacific Rim. Like, all right, first I got to get over the fact that there are giant robots and giant monsters. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just enjoy it. Like, Fast and Furious, I know these guys are going to make it. So whatever stunts they do in between, yeah, all right. So then, um, well, the, shit. I didn't understand Tyrese when he's getting launched into space. He was steering. I'm like, what are you steering? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's moving the wheels around? <laughs> yeah. And then uh, the kid from Sling Blade, I don't remember his character's name, but he's flying the plane at the beginning of the scene. He's doing the same thing with the thing in the cockpit. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Just hold that shit still. So so what is the plot? Give me the plot before we take a break. Like, what, who's the villain? What's the purpose this time around? Oh, that's the, that's the great part. That's, it's just like a rock thing. Villain turns into good guy at the end. Well, but... Uh, but scene they, is not they the keep, villain, they keep bringing... per se, right? Right. The... It's a oh, the following right. premise of uh, Charlize Theron's character. Ah, uh, okay, yes. So yes, they're, yes, they're yes, still yes. trying to get that technology to take over the world. Got basically. it. And so she's in it this time also. She's really? in it this time as a prisoner, and okay. Okay. she comes out eventually. And then they, yeah, John they keep Cena's her in a good. plexiglass box with no toilet or water for a couple of days. <laughs> yeah. She looks great though. She's dressed nicely. Her makeup's well done. She's had a bowl cut for some reason. Looks kind of curioso. No, the, the haircut looks uh, terrible. I, I feel like uh, that's what they want to do. They, they want to make her look as bad as possible. Because, you know, the previous one, she, it was a white chick with dreads. And now this one, she's got a bowl oh, cut. Yeah. And then uh, just take it all off next time. Just yeah. take it all off. Oh, like in uh, was it Mad show. Max? Wasn't she bald in Mad, Mad Max? She, she was. Had a shaved head, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I'll give this movie a shit. So, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> God damn you people. Anyway, well, we'll take a break here on Nerds Talking the Podcast. That was F9. And uh, apparently Johnny loves these movies. So just fuck, man. Anyway, we'll be right back after this. Are you the kind of person or unspeakable nightmare horror who likes actual play podcasts, but occasionally wants a break from all the high fantasy heroics? If so, you should check out Negative Modifier, an actual play podcast that specializes in darker, more mature games. You can find us on YouTube, Twitch, and more or less anywhere else podcasts can be found. Welcome back to Nerds Talking the Podcast. I'm here with Carlos and Johnny, and I'm Lafayette. Remember to rate, subscribe, review, turn on notifications, tell your friends. We're on every platform, every Friday, new episode. We're on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Reddit. We are a worldwide conglomerate. Hey, what if someone told you, hey, you guys need to change the name of your podcast. It offends me. 
What would you say to them? I mean, I want to know which part offends them and why. Yeah, we can have a conversation about it. Yeah. But if uh, if the nerds part offends them, then they're a fucking nerd and I just whoop their ass. Wow. Hmm. Just kidding. Wow. That's, that's, <laughs> that's wow. bullying and shit. We'll just change our names then to that is Guardians crazy. Talking. Yeah. Uh, holy no, crap. I mean, they're... nerds don't, pro- they, they do online protests. They, they're keyboard they make you warriors. sign an online petition. Yeah. They'll send you a virus, dude. What's that? Yeah. Change, change.org? Sign my petition so I can have a bigger dick. That's not a petition. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought it would work. So make a wish. I wrote about it. I want yeah. that, that'd be a great make a wish. So write it in. I want to meet John Cena, but first I want a bigger dick. You're nine years old. <laughs> you have three months to live. I don't care. <laughs> I want to die with a bigger dick. <laughs> I'm going to die with a big ass dong. It's <laughs> my wish. Don't judge me. Yeah, don't judge me. <laughs> That's I want to skip rope with it before I die. Change the name of make a wish. Do those motherfuckers let me down? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> so yeah, that just comes to um, sports teams changing their names because of pressure due to, uh, I guess you would say, uh, what they call that cultural appropriation. Or was how would you phrase that um, when they say that that you're like using a culture or you're using a group of people in either a slanderous way or you're just taking advantage of them and they're not getting anything for it. Which means basically the Redskins of Washington and the Indians of Cleveland. They had to change their names because they felt oh, pressure. So the bullets of Washington. And the, well, the bullets, I, I get that one. Why do you get that one? Because yeah, they're just bullets and they represent the, the city accurately. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> more so. I mean, you're not even wrong. You're right. It does. It does represent Washington. Most Biden accurately. city in America. I guess the problem, my thing about the bullets one is as a sports fan, we understood it. You know, the metaphor, like, you know, shooting, hoops, whatever you want to call it, bullets, whatever. And it was cool. The Washington sure, bullets. You can go with that. Sure. It's a cool name. But Wizards, when they said, oh, we're the Wizards now, I was like, oh, man, that's super dorky, but I'm with it, too. No, it's pretty accurate now because the Wizards, they magically made that name disappear, and now they're good because uh, they got rid of bullets. It should be the drive-bys, the D.C. drive-bys. The Washington. I think bringing Michael Jordan back made it cool, though, and he paid for the Wizards for for a second. He did for three years. Yeah, some really bad... uh, choices though like they had the number one pick one year and they picked Kwame Kwame Brown. Brown. yeah former laker and like i was like man jordan picked him so he's gonna be on my fantasy team and mm-hmm. he disappointed me for the yeah. for all of his career but then the guardians what do you guys think about the guardians the cleveland guardians i actually like the, the name um the logo's okay it wasn't too bad um i thought they made a good name change what they didn't have to change their names they nothing was wrong or derogatory about being called the Indians. No, but people were still protesting. Native Americans were still protesting. What were they protesting? I guess is my thing. Like, because if you because they said that when they polled most Native Americans, they didn't give a shit. They thought it was actually cool that they had a baseball team called the Indians. But then you had these tribes come out that were pretty prominent, going, "You can't do that. You can't use us for your." You know, I guess profit profiting. I, that's how I view it. They can't. They more or less just started you're profiting off of us. And does that mean the New York Giants have to give? Aren't they profiting off of Giants? Right. Just, what? Just anyone over Tall seven anybody feet? Over, yeah, over seven feet, right? But, oh my god! <clears throat> give me another blame joke. Like the Think Braves. About it, Atlanta <laughs> Braves. Are they gonna? Are they gonna change their name? They I mean, said they were going to an Indian, isn't they it? They said they were going to change it, but now they said they're oh. not. So um, they said the only thing are the Redskins is... still the Redskins? No, they're they the Washington, Washington football team. But they already have a name and logo, but they're not going to unveil it until the until next season. They said they already have it all made up. The Washington those... Yellow Skins be a bunch of Asians on the helmets. Oh damn, that's. <sighs> would you hmm. be offended by that, Johnny? If they were the Yellow yeah, Skins? Would you? Uh. Yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I was thinking of a way I couldn't be offended. I'm like, no, that that cuts deep in the soul. I, I don't think 
I'd be able to not get I think, offended. I mean, I don't know what their name's going to be. Washington, what? I don't know. Hmm. They're yeah, Washington, D.C., right? Yeah. I mean, they I could take the baseball team's name, I guess, but they no, already have that. Well. Yeah, I know. I mean, they did that in St. Louis and didn't quite work out. What do you mean? They, they were both the St. Uh, Louis Cardinals at one point. The football team oh, and the football the, uh, team baseball, baseball team. team. Mm. Yep. Yeah, that just throws everything off when it comes to selling merchandise. Like, wear my baseball gear to the football game. I ain't gonna buy no football gear. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was a Washington fan. Uh, I would, I don't know. I like, kind of like watch the football team. I'm just used to it now. Like, yeah, whatever. Who cares? Who cares used about to it that? after one year? That just goes to say it doesn't matter what you name a team. If you That's like what team, I mean. Like I didn't care. I'm like, who cares? Like, call them the Washington cunt sackers, and I'll be like, that's awesome. Like, the Washington armchair quarterbacks. Yeah, the I like Washington. Cunt sackers, though. Cunt sackers is, I don't know, <laughs> it, it's, it flows, you know? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And our goal is to sack cunts. Would you <laughs> offend anybody? I don't know if that's really offensive to anybody. Yeah, you probably offend uh, all the cunts. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the cunts. He just, he just thought about that. Well, okay, no, I see it now. The Giants. <laughs> Right, the Giants. <laughs> like, 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 what do you do? You go to Oakland and pick it outside. What are you picketing? I'm not athletic, you motherfucker. <laughs> Change your name. <laughs> I want you to call yourself the Oakland Averages. <laughs> I'm average at best. <laughs> mediocre, <laughs> Oakland mediocre. Watch me hit a baseball. I can't. See, not everybody's athletic. You pieces of shit. Uh, like just you could protest a lot of teams, and it'd be so. Oh, with ridiculous. that, I don't understand the elephant as a logo for athletics. Because the elephant is he's, he's on a ball. Remember, athletic, he's, ironic. Got to be athletic, right? He has to be on the ball. He's a circus. Well, that's something elephant. you find on a circus poster. Yeah, Armin mm-hmm. Bailey's an elephant and on a damn ball. He, he holds a baseball bat in his trunk. That's a that's an athletic fucking. I mean, how would you how would you give a logo for something athletic? The uh, um. Da Vinci's Matruvian man. That's just the guy athletic. that's in shape. I don't know if he was athletic. He could have yeah. been clumsy as shit. Well, he's got to be in shape. You got to be athletic to stay in shape. Man. I would just put Ricky Henderson on my hat. Just that's it. Probably the greatest athletic ever. Just they already the call greatest it greatest leadoff man for sure. They already call it Ricky Henderson Field. So it's fucking. There you go. You can protest a lot of team names. You really can. And people be like, God damn, didn't think about that shit. Like, uh, you know, every, you can protest every animal name. And just say that ah, you shouldn't be calling them animals because animals have feelings. Like fucking so bear that, what about <clears throat> the hurricanes. Why haven't they changed that name? Because hurricanes kill people. Because if you will remember, after the tsunami in Japan, Jamba Juice changed their what was it Surf, called? It was the tsunami. tsunami it was something? the strawberry tsunami, and they changed it <laughs> next week to the yeah. strawberry surf rider. Surf rider. That's right. The strawberry <laughs> surf rider. I was so. just wondering, like, if people were trying to order it and just started bursting into tears. Oh no! It's <laughs> true. Yeah, because I used to get it's it so all good. the time. I used to, and then I, I those uh, poor Japanese people. Yeah, I brought my Japanese friend. And they're like, "What are we doing here?" I fucking hate you, bro. And I pushed him into Java Juice and closed the door. And he was like, no, "Why would you do this to me?" <laughs> uh, I said, "Don't worry, you can get the Olympics in 2021. You'll feel better." He was like, "That makes no sense." The New York Giants? <laughs> that makes sense now. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, yeah. man. It's like I said, you could do it to a lot of, you could really do it to most teams if you really wanted to, you know, and people will find a reason to do it. Not the New York Jets. Uh, I guess it's true. The Jets, you can't do it to. The Giants, you can't do it to. Can you do it to the Yankees? No. Not the Dodgers either. Mm. But yeah, it's just it's interesting. I don't know. I when teams change their names, it doesn't. I think it's worse when teams change their name when they move to a new city, because that's like that's kind of effed up for those fans that they already lost their team. So when Oklahoma well, did, went to Seattle, went to Oklahoma to change the name to the Thunder, they could have just been the Oklahoma SuperSonics. Super what, SuperSonic is anywhere, right? What about the Nordiques? What the Quebec? Where did they go to? The Quebec Nordiques. Uh, they they either go, went, the Panthers, Florida Panthers. Mm, either that or they were the uh, no, the Winnipeg Jets were the Arizona oh. Coyotes. Coyotes. Because uh, then, you know, Nordiques in the U.S., it's kind of a weird name. 
Well, that made sense. And it was more like a disbanding of that team. Like that team doesn't exist. Like, even though you were moving it, like it just doesn't. That's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or about the Expos? Where the Expos go? They're the um, Capitals, aren't they? No, Washington Capitals. no, they're the they're the Miami Marlins. Are they really? Yep, 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 yep. So, yeah, it's a, it's. I don't know. To me, I don't care. Johnny, do you care? I mean, was it something that you're like, oh, look at these guys? They're forced to change their name because all this pressure they got from you know the local casino. The local Indian casino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I I feel like I've been hearing about this since we were kids. You know? The hell? The hell? Fucking ghost. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> you just gonna disregard the ghost that just screamed? <laughs> and just ask me about my opinion. <laughs> And get Schuler on the phone. I mean, I'm uh, going going for none. Out, man. <laughs> no, don't get Schuler anywhere near the show. Okay, <laughs> He'll bore the shit out of the ghost. He'll Good leave. Lord. He'll leave. <laughs> I remember when uh, I think the Braves were in the World Series, like in the yep. '90s, and uh, was a they were doing then? the chant, and then mm-hmm. people started protesting. Oh, then, but chop. yeah, it's yeah. been you know twenty something years, and they're finally changing the name. I'm like, I don't know it's, what took so long. Um, that's another thing too. Why do it now? Exactly. That's another thing though. I, like the Redskins, I'm like, why? I remember asking. I think Carlos is there too. We asked a random waiter at a table when they were talking about doing it. Hey, what do you think? Uh, what do you think when we say the word Redskins? And he was like, he must have been not a football fan because he was like, oh, you mean like the football team? Oh man, that's a pretty messed up name. I was like, motherfucker, I've asked the wrong dude. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> damn it, man. It's just the the current culture climate. You know they. They're yeah, changing it's names, it's they're yeah. canceling things, and, and they're, they're labeling, they're mislabeling things. They're and, tearing down statues. It's, yeah, I mean, you hear the the one about uh, Matt Damon and the F how word. he took oh. Amanda Knox's story. Or no, no, I heard that one. That's the movie. That's the movie. Right. No, no, the F word where he used supposedly the F word on on set or something. And somebody said, oh, that's the fact. And it's a huge thing now. When I say the F word, which word do you think I mean? Fuck. Well, for him, he said fag, didn't he? Yeah, he said fag. Yeah. And then Glad came out and said, you need to apologize to the world and this and that. And he was like, came, I've never used out? Glad. You know what Glad the, is? The, the garbage the, bag company? The, the, the freaking... They're like, uh, they're like the, what's that? What's that alliance? What are they? Like the color? NAACP? Like the, that? the other one. What's the other one? Come on, there's one more. It's the, the uh, god damn, I forgot they're called. Something, fuck, UCLA. No, that's a college. UCLA. Um, ACLU. There you go, hey. ACLU. I knew it was, uh, Johnny, would, see, he's good at filling out Johnny's these good jizz- at word jumbles. These, oh, yeah, these <laughs> jizzers he's good at. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> so, anyway, and they'll they'll just go down, they'll jump down your throat. Wow, oh, damn it, <laughs> that's the wrong word thing to say. <laughs> the no man. No I don't know what we're talking about. Um, anymore. you know, it's just like because he said the f word, the word fag. Just who knows when or where? All of a sudden, he said he was like, I've never used that word. I don't know what you're talking about. Please don't cancel me. And I was like, dude, don't apologize. Like, what are you talking about, man? I hate it when people say I've never used this word or that word. I'm like, you used it. We've all used a certain word at one point or another. Yeah, I don't. It's just the cancel culture thing, even with sports teams, is awkward to me. Well, we got to cancel because the Quebec Nordiques became the Colorado Avalanche. So if you ever had a friend who died in an avalanche... We need to protest the hockey team. Just cry every time. I think it's a little bit game. different, right? So, like the hurricanes and the avalanche, you can't. That, that's just natural disasters. You can't. So really... it was a tsunami. Thank you very much. And I can't get my favorite drink. It's a good point. A Jamba Juice. You can. It's just now called something else. Mm, that that means we got to change the hurricane to something else. Yeah. What what, mm. what is it now? Like the strawberry not, gentle not breeze. Surf <laughs> rider. No, no, <laughs> the, the strawberry <laughs> non killing. You know breeze. what? I don't think it's even a surf rider anymore. Something no, else. Oh, it is a surf rider. Are you what, sure somebody dying a surfing accident? I had one recently. Well, sharks, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> oh, the sharks are the Nazis of the sea. Those motherfuckers. Anyway, sharks are assholes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sharks. <laughs> you, I like you know that what? though. Like Nazis of the sea. <laughs> 
can I get a two cans of chunk light, the chicken of the sea, and, uh, <laughs> three cans of the Nazi of the sea? I'm making the, I'm making the casserole. <laughs> Yeah, it's still there. Strawberry Surf Rider. Ah, look at old Surf Rider. All right. I will take a break here before we get canceled on Nerds Talking the Too Late. Holy crap, guys, it's the random cast. What's the random cast? Well, it's a podcast, obviously. But we do a lot of things here. We look we talk about mental health, we talk about tech, we talk about wrestling, we talk about MMA, different things. Every week it's a new topic. Sometimes it does repeat on topics, but it's always new content. Check us out at Twitter at The Random Cast. That's at DA Random Cast. Thanks, guys. Welcome back to Nerds Talking the Podcast. I'm Lafayette. I'm here with Carlos and Johnny, just the three of us here, like Three's Company. What other show when you have three people? What a movie, Three Amigos, one of the best movies ever. Three Amigos, ever. Three's Company. Anybody else? Anything? Any threesomes out there? Anyway, Johnny, you've seen a lot of threesomes. Name some movies. Uh, <laughs> Big man and a baby. I, I uh, don't remember oh, the I got, I got one for you. The two guys. That... Is it two guys in a pizza place? Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Two guys, a girl, and a pizza place. There you go. Chicken there. That's, That's a great show. Them, but, um, part of the show? My two dads. Is, that, is it two guys and a girl in a pizza place? It is two guys and a girl. Or two, two guys. Dads. Two guys, a girl, and a pizza place. What mm. the fuck are you talking about? New York. That's what it's called, you dummy. But you said my two dads. Off. Oh, my two dads is three people in it. No. My three sons. There you go. My three sons. My three sons was not just three people part of the show. Like them, they're not just made still three a title. people. Well, neither was three's company. It wasn't just three people in the show. Well, yeah, three it is about three people. Dumb it's not mother. about anybody else. It's only about three people. Really? No, it's about and Mr. what is Furley, the plot? Mr. What is Furley? the plot of Three's Company? And it was <clears throat> Three's you Company. Remember the plot. Yeah. I do remember the plot. Okay, well, what was it? Plot. Jack needed a place to stay. Mm-hmm. So he found a place to stay with the two girls. But in order yep. to stay with the two girls, mm-hmm. he had to hide from Mr. Furley. And the only way to hide from Mr. Furley was to act like he was gay. Bam, that is the That's plot. That's the plot. Three. You company. know what's weird, though, is that... Uh, mm-hmm. Miss, he had to pretend, obviously. So they were really open to, like... You know, having gay people at the apartment complex, you know, I applaud you for being so open minded. But then, but you can't be a guy they living with a girl. They were woke. No, not out of wedding. Yeah, Mr. but, but, Furley but he, had a strong religious belief. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Furley. if he did, then he wouldn't let gays in there either. Yeah, good point. This is actually well, it's a double edged sword, my friend. And yeah. you don't play with that double edged sword in the 80s, man. Uh-uh. You pick one side or the you other, get AIDS. or you go to hell. <laughs> no, it's just AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, AIDS in the 80s was pretty. And then you got pretty. the same plot for Bosom Buddies. No, well, same plot. Yeah, they have to dress up as women to live in a women's building to so get cheaper right, rent. Those cheaper rent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What kind of um, building is a women's only building? Lesbos. <laughs> mm. mm-hmm. WNBA hotels. <laughs> uh, they're going to cancel uh-huh. you fast. <laughs> you said the wildest shit, bro. Send all your hate mail to Johnny's address. He lives at. Yeah. <laughs> lives that. Don't come here, bitch. I live in hell. <laughs> Dot com. Um, no, but uh, the Olympics, because we seem to be an Olympic show all of a sudden. Well, Olympics are happening, and we're yeah, going to do some happening. Olympic coverage. It's current, current events. Now, we're not going to tell you who's winning because we're not, you know, NBC. We're not ESPN. We're here to cover the crazy shit about the Olympics. Did you know the Mexico women's softball team is made up of 15 Mexicans and 14, 14 of them are American citizens? Yep. Really? Wow. Only one of them is an actual Mexican citizen. The other 14 were just given citizenships to play for the team. And they're actually wow. all college softball players. And they lost. No way. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I like that. I like uh, when they... Get the ringers and they still suck. And they lose. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I, I'm I'm not gonna lie. I enjoyed seeing the women's soccer team lose too. Why? Oh. Give it to me. Give it to me. Come on, let's go. You know Give why. it to me. You know why? They took I know a knee. why. They I know took why. A knee. I know why. Oh yeah. No, I to know me, why. it has nothing to do with the knee. With the meat. To me, it has a lot to do with. Uh, Oh, we deserve equal pay because we win all our shit. And like, well, know. that's that's fucking dumb because it, it it's all dependent on 
on merchandise. Fans, yeah. fans, Mer- merchandise, all that stuff. I mean, yeah, it all depends on viewership sale. primarily. Like yeah. WNBA shouldn't be like, oh, I should get twenty million a year too, because you don't make as a whole. WNBA doesn't make twenty million dollars. You know, I this think what, true. however LeBron much could buy the WNBA. Um, however much you know, a player like Tristan Thompson gets paid, they have a good argument. <laughs> It's shitty players that make like twenty million a year. Yeah, but the NBA mm. brings in all that revenue. No, so I'm they they have this. money to distribute for the the veteran. Oh no, 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 there's no comparison. It's, the veteran no minimum at in the WNBA is the a WNBA, little bit less than minimum wage. I think. Yeah, the WNBA is like the major leagues versus like the little league World Series. You know, so um, actually, more fans probably watch the little league World Series. Than I, the I would agree. Yeah. Because it's still men out that. there. I they may be that. little men, but they're men one day. <laughs> uh, so, uh, but yeah, the Olympics are uh, in action, and um, Johnny missed out on our Olympic coverage last episode. And I think he has some thoughts about Simone Biles, about um, anything else. Oh, I was watching the track and women's track and field, and I, yeah, I, I let me tell you something. Field. There was a and guy running in track and field. All there day. was a guy running in that damn thing. I was like, what? What's going on? And then the guy explains that this guy, this woman tested like pos- like so over the testosterone for level. Like, so <laughs> over the level that you know what they do when you when you test over the level? Uh, they just put you in a worse starting spot. Like so in the back, you, like lane yeah, eight in the or back, something. Yeah, all the way in the back. Like the up. And like, so that's how they punish you. So the, the 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 one that got kicked out, Cha Cha Rodriguez or whatever, I forgot her name. What was her Who? name? Um, the black girl that kicked out for weed, Richardson. Oh, uh huh. Um, she got kicked out for weed, but I'll pump myself with tons of testosterone. You know, we're gonna punish you. You start back there. Oh, okay. <laughs> is, that, is, is that a dick? No, 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 no. I'll start back here. It's cool, man. It's cool. <laughs> I got cool. you, bro. <laughs> Fair, <laughs> fair deal, <laughs> fair deal. Go ahead, Johnny, break it down. Give me your uh, rant, your Johnny's rant of the show. Well, I was listening to what you guys were talking about last week. I agreed with you know most everything. Uh, Simone Biles uh, basically got the yips. You know, she's like the yips. I don't know. There, there's a there's like a gymnast term for it, but like when you're like, twisties, the twisties, yeah, twisties. like you're. And I get it. I guess you're scared to like in your neck or whatever but uh didn't doesn't that doesn't her withdrawing take away from somebody else that could have made the team mm. no because she did uh she actually did um do another solo well she, she won uh she, i think a bronze a bronze, or yeah. bronze yeah. yeah and plus but then like the plus team they, they the bring team a, they bring a lot of extras that can jump in and you know yeah they bring always, alternates there's yeah. always this one or two girls that'll never get to even participate in anything so now that she sits out you know a little you know little biling can do what she wants now she's she's 10 years old and she can do flips that was another thing i was wondering about i i don't know how i feel about sports like gymnastics uh skateboarding now where like the the gold medalist is you know 14 15 years old because i don't feel like you you hit your athletic peak at 14 or 15 they're only they're smaller so they can do more twists and turns like uh there's a kid who did a 1080 mm-hmm. on a, on a ramp mm-hmm. but he's so fucking tiny just spinning his ass off i don't think he's going to be able to do that when he's like 25 like it would tony impress me what's that tony he did, a, did, nine, he did a 900 not a 1080 that's a one more spin oh, well. you know it's it's um when it comes to skateboarding, I don't care about that. I mean, the two sports you brought you up, who cares? They're not up. even sports. They're just games and let them do it. They, they are want. sports. Little kids. So little golf kids. is in the damn skateboarding Olympics. Skateboarding is That's not a sport. But, it's, but golf is not a sport. You're right. It's not. No, it's a game. It's a game. You don't play against but an don't opponent. don't they call it the Olympic games? That's what I'm saying. That's why it's like, look, if your best athlete is 14 years old, send that mother trucker. Let him compete, her compete. That's just how it works. Like, the idea is you send the best you have for that that's just how it goes yeah but it's not she's you're you don't hit your athletic prime when you're that young like china had a thing 
a couple years ago, they were like, oh, well, this chick faked her birth certificate because she's actually 12 instead of the minimum of 14 like or whatever. Or whatever yeah. yeah. And uh, it's only because they're so tiny that they can do all these tricks. But once they grow up and mature and their body matures, they're not going to be able to do that. Like, it Maybe. would impress me if a 12 year old got out there on the soccer field and then just dominated or baseball. If a 12 year old got in the UFC and like whoop, whooped on somebody, then all right, see, yeah, that's I'd be impressed, but you don't, the thing you, don't is, you just, your... you just answered your own question. You just said, Dumb if ass. a Chinese girl goes swimming, I mean, diving and she's, Oh man, at 12, she's so good. But when, if she gets a little bit older in her 20, she can't do that anymore than her prime was 14. That was her prime to do that shit. It wasn't 20. Your physical athletic prime. For is that not person, when she's fourteen, it, but it, but for only, that particular, what she's doing probably is right. It's probably for that particular. She might be at in better shape at twenty. It doesn't mean she can do that jumpity flippity stuff into the pool. You know what I mean? So it's just that's you know that's just different. Like look so, at so so twenty five year old gymnasts are known as this old gymnast. They're just we don't want them anymore. We want that sixteen year old that can do the higher flip and then the more bounces and do the bounce being better better because they're just better at it so are you saying there should be an age minimum in the olympics should it be higher than 14 should it be 18 should it be 20 i think it should be uh, i mean there's no kids 17 18 I mean, when, when you're and then it doesn't about- make sense to me that you're you're in your sport prime when you're 10 or 12 or whatever, but you're in your athletic prime when you're like in your mid 20s. Yeah, but it's different. Like a basketball player, for instance, there's not going to be a 14 year old on the basketball team because they're not going to be as athletic and big and power- as powerful as men. Right. But when you're in something where you're just by yourself, like, for instance, Equestrius with the horses, all those girls are like 15, 16 years old. Because that's what they do on the lights. weekends with their with their daddy's money. They ride horses and jump over little pylons. And it's like, okay, cool. Like when you're doing something by yourself, there's no competition. Who cares about the age? But you're playing ping pong, watch out, motherfucker. All right, but what about the other way? Well, should you be should there be a cutoff? Because Japan had somebody representing them in this in the diving and he was forty years old. No, I don't think so. Mm. But he can still do the flippity flips. So. Yeah, he can yeah. And I mean he is, didn't, like, he yeah. didn't place in. The, he may have placed in the top ten. I can't remember, but obviously he didn't medal. I mean, there was somebody was, in the four hundred. No, was it the fifteen hundred meters women's race? She was like forty-seven or some shit. But there was also a woman in the in the skate in the park competition, and she was thirty-two, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, so the winner was fourteen or whatever. Yeah, and it's you know, and like that chick that was like forty or whatever, forty-five in the fifteen hundred meters. She already won like three silver, two bronze, and, you know, all the other Olympics. And they just put her out there because you're like, yeah, it's more like tradition. You go do it. No one cares. We're Belarus. Like, you know, it's, I mean, it, I mean, the Olympics is what, three weeks long, two weeks long? Who cares, really? Two weeks it's, long. Just send the best you got, whatever you got, whatever, mm-hmm. whatever it is. If it's spike ball, send the be- best beach person. If it's, you know, it's frisbee golf, ball. So send the best frisbee golf guy, like there's no age or now johnny are you a little maybe uh, a little upset or maybe a little jealous because you weren't that good at 14 on a skateboard um i don't think so i don't think i'm I'm, i just don't when i think about athletes and the the sports and what i I, as as a 24 year old you're washed up in gymnastics I mean, yeah. that, that, I mean, that I doesn't mean, make sense to me. That I think that the reason why you're washed up in gymnastics is because, I mean, what's crazy? Those girls so don't, young. They don't, yeah, they start so young. I think it's more of Your a joints of dumb. Yeah, it's the joints. It's, it's that. It's that type of stuff. You're not as limber, even, even at 24. You're already no, like, freaking... it's because you, you can, if you're doing backflips, you know, a triple backflip as opposed to a double backflip is a, a big difference in the score. Yeah. And you just can't do that when you're older, when you're taller, have more muscle. Only little kids are that's just nimble gymnasts, like that. Yeah, yeah. Gymnasts don't get that much taller than when they're like 14 or 15. They get wide ass necks and broad shoulders, which is odd looking when I watch Fat them. asses. Yeah, no, it's very odd. Now, if oh, your I can't kid, say that because the winner was like 16, Johnny. So, I mean, now if your out. kid was great at their sport 
at 14 and had a chance to go to national champions or Olympics, would you let them go? No. Nope. Not yeah, I mean, I, if, if they were good enough, I'd let them go. I'm, I guess I'm criticizing the sport more than mm, the, mm. Uh, the individuals. Um, and then I just compare it to just the age, like, but you compare like you're, you said, you're, you're a gold medalist, uh, skateboarder, but if you played uh, basketball, you're, you'd get your ass kicked because you're a tiny little, but you're comparing different, you know, again, you're comparing different games. That's, that's a whole different thing. Like I'm not going to compare the guy that's out there doing triple jump to, something else that he probably can't even do maybe he's not that's not his game it's not his sport so on and so forth like you know that's it's like oh you gymnasts are too young you guys should be more like the soccer girls that are playing when they're 25 like what those don't compute those don't even like that's a whole different thing and gymnastics man kids start like three years old and they just stay in it and stay in it forever and they're hardcore about it and by the time they hit 16 that is their prime i've been doing this shit for 13 years and I've nonstop been doing it like, you know, that's that's it. That's that's their go time. Yeah, but not because gymnastics is about forms and tricks and, and whatnot. So it's not about jumping higher because as a 20 year old, they're going to jump higher than they did at 10. But they can't do as many flips because they're not as as nimble as like little kids are. So it's the the peak of the athletic ability are you know in your 20s or whatever for the most part not not as your oh my you hate kids yeah <laughs> that's pretty much what i'm getting here you like, you're really, like you like i you guess it's hate, not a, it's you not hate impressive watching gymnastics me. it's not impressive to me uh i guess I mean, the reason why gymnastics is not impressive to me when it comes to, well, the floor gymnastics is because the whole floor is a springboard. You know, the, the, the floor one, when they, they run across a floor they, exercise. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, it, yeah, it's impressive because they can do all that and they can land it like, holy shit, I, that's crazy. Like your timing is terrific. Right. But I'll tell you what, you run off that pommel horse and you jump in there and you do all that shit like that's like they, even when they do the rings where they have to hang, you know, spin and I'm like, fuck it. Or even the parallel bars not like what the uneven bars that's yeah the uneven bars i mean all of it even the parallel bars that shit is it's all impressive and if you notice the guys none of them are teenagers if you notice that now they are right. what you call their prime they're 19 20 mm -hmm. 22 years old it's just like i said it's different it's a whole different ball game because guys they're using all that muscle for everything you know like you see how shredded those dudes are when they're like doing that parallel bar and shit right the chicks aren't like that you know some of the girls look like all they do is something for their necks. I'm crazy. Man, they look crazy. But they're just kids that just do so much gymnastics. That's how they build their natural muscle. They're not, they're probably not working out. The dudes are probably working out like crazy and shit. And I don't know. You hate kids, man. That's all that it comes down to. I don't know. I just think like the Tony Hawk's 900 is more impressive than that kid's 1080 to me. And just because, because of his age, because of his age, because I don't think. You know, like if in 10 years that kid can still do it, then that's going to be way more impressive to me. But because he's a tiny kid, he's able to do all the spinning quicker and faster. He's able to spin. But see, I still think that's impressive. He may be 14, but that kid can land a 1080. Like he's that good at skating. That's that's impressive, man. He Like he can do all these tricks on a, on a half pipe. That's insane to me. At 14, that's like, holy shit, this kid is awesome. Tony Hawk's like six eight. The fact he can do a nine hundred at fifty years old is awesome, right? You know, like that's right. impressive because of his length and everything. And he puts his knees up above his head. And I also think, any, I mean, anything Tony Hawk does. You know, us growing up, we've seen Tony Hawk since he was a teenager. That dude's impressive no matter what to us. But like right. I said, a fourteen year old doing a ten eighty, that shit is like holy shit. He could be five five and a hundred pounds, but that's impressive as shit. The fact he can even land a ten eighty. You know, like the timing on that shit is just, it's, um, yeah, gold medal for fucking sure, man. Yeah. Fucking hater. Was he American? <laughs> yeah. Fucking hate I think your so. country, bro. Okay. Mm. Okay. You fucking hate, look at you, just hating the soccer team, hating the skaters, the gymnasts. What do you like to watch? Huh? Oh, the hammer toss? Sports. 
I actually did enjoy the hammer toss I was watching. Hammer toss. I did. I didn't watch oh, the hammer toss. Is that the one where the chick uh, turned her back to the national anthem? Mm, I think that was the. Uh, I didn't see her. Shot, which one know, is she it? She did the hammer. She did the hammer. There's, there's, yeah. She, no, it was the hammer or the ball? Hammer or the ball? Shot put is the shot ball, put. and the hammer is the one so with she on did the, end the, of the cable. Yeah, yeah. No, she did the hammer then. Yeah, yeah but her protest wasn't turning her back. She stood up and just made an X with her arms, and it was actually she said it was in solidarity because she was Wakanda. Her. No, it was something to do with LGBT. <laughs> oh, no, it was about LGBTQ, something like that. No, it, it was wasn't about. about it was what does about the X what? have to do BLM with that? Stuff. No, it wasn't BLM. It was about LGBT BLT and, oh, and uh, just McDLT. But anyway, she's like, yeah, what kind of protest is that? She put her arms in an, uh, up in the air like an axe. Who cares? Like, Oh, in the air, not in front of her. Like, no, no, it wasn't. Uh, no, no, no. She, she crossed her arms and she was protesting. Yeah, she put her, her arms up in the air and crossed them. Like, yeah, mm, crossed her oh, wrist, basically. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. It's whatever. Even she, she explained it afterwards because they interviewed her. Oh, no, that was for like you because she's, you know, she said she's lesbian and she's like, it's. No, no it's bullshit. She, she, she gave an attitude afterward. They set my ass attitude. Up. They, what? They no, no, that's a, that's a different person. Oh, I don't, I don't even know, know who you're talking about then. Talking about the girl that actually won a I'm talking about the hammer like throw. Three days ago. No, no, somebody that won like three days ago. No, he's talking about the... Pr- the, the you're talking the about the qualifier. Qualifier. Right. No, no, I'm talking about some chick in the actual Olympics did it. Oh, didn't see that shit. Yeah, yeah. She still, just I, I still think up. you're an idiot. It was like this. We're talking about the di- different things I now. I think you're an idiot, Yeah, and too, then when she, so they interviewed her right after, she said, they asked her, what was that about? Oh, it's for the LGBTQ and... Just so, so something about representation also, like just more or less representation. It was like, what does the X have to do with anything? I think it's just the way of. It, wait, is that is that noticing. hugs or kisses when? when X's and O's. X's are yeah. X's are kisses. Uh, kisses. X's are kisses, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, hugs are O's. Or O's. <clears throat> so um, she yeah. loves her country. Yeah, just give them kisses. Yeah, and Johnny hates his country apparently. Fucking speaking of medals. Stop. Speaking of medals, this is a serious question right now. <sighs> speaking of medals, how come Chewbacca didn't get a medal? How come only Luke and Han got a medal? Why did Chewbacca get one? I want to know why they got a medal. I don't think pets can get medals. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm no, we're getting canceled for sure. Oh, why did I feel they get medals? People using the force on me right now. They're never... saving the rebellion. They, they saved the medal. Rebe- a medal. He, they got a medal. How sad is that? Killing yeah, they... millions of people on the Death Star. That's no, they, why. Yeah, they got Chewbacca a goat. That's all he wanted. He didn't want no fucking <laughs> he medal. He food. wants something to eat. <laughs> yeah, it's. I'm... Yeah, they could have at least I put don't. like a ribbon in his hair or something, like a little bow or something. That would be hella funny. Are you sure he didn't get a medal? He didn't get like a medal. Did. Son of a bitch was not human. So Leia's like, you don't get a medal. You're not even <laughs> Look it human, up. dude. Look it up. Because I think he did the whatever he does when he, he got He did. One, right? That's all he did. He just oh. roared like, yeah, I'm here. Thanks oh, so he did that. it for Han. He roared for Han more or less. I like guess. he cheered him on. Oh. Yes. But he was standing right next to him at the podium and whatever. Oh, he and... turned this to a Star Wars thing now. Luke and oh, Han looking got at the picture. medals. Yeah, Johnny is doing it. And Johnny, no medal. Pretty lonely. He's got his yeah. bandolier of uh, yeah, that's ammunition, it. and that's mm, it. That's it. Poor what fella. is that? What is that thing across his chest? It's got to be a bandolier. That's like where you hold that's your ammo. No, no, I yeah, know, but, ammo, but what ammo is he going to reload for his crossbow? He's got to run out of bolts eventually, lazy. right? Yeah. That's another thing. How do you load bolts, the lasers into lasers. that? Lasers. Battery like load lasers. Pack. It's like a battery pack. They should have explained that. Yeah, Star Wars there, sucks, There's man. no need. There's Star no Wars need. Is, is such a shit franchise. Shut Not the original up. three. You shut your mouth. <laughs> so shit. We'll talk about mouth. that after this. How shit <laughs> fucking Star Wars is. I'll be back after the, the end of the talking podcast. <laughs> Greetings, dear traveler. Welcome to the Morbid Forest. Join me, Ranger Harper, every Tuesday for devilishly mature content as I take you down a path that will truly terrify. From zombies to psycho killers, nowhere is safe to hide. So don't go down the wrong path, lest you find yourself trapped within the Morbid Forest. Welcome back to Nerds Talking the Podcast. I'm Lafayette. I'm here with Carlos and Johnny, just the three amigos today. 
It's like last week. So this is a pattern to show when it gets better with three people. So we'll have to start making cuts. Start making cuts, people. Draw straws. Draw straws. Like draw them or I think we should no. fight fight for spots. Ooh. Wow. So be you know, you I, I don't want to get onto the, the Olympics uh, too yeah. much more, but oh. uh, I'm going to mm-hmm. talk about shoot uh, sports mm-hmm. of skill, like like shooting, archery, and stuff like that. Mm, I not feel sports, like, yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, it'd be still get a gold medal for it, mm-hmm. but I think it'd be cool if you, instead of just shooting at targets, you shoot at each other. Dueling mm-hmm. would be should be in the Olympic but sport. Like paintballing, maybe. Yeah, you could do like simu- simulation. Well, I guess live ammunition would be good because whoever the last three that survive, whoever has the least amount of wounds gets the gold. I would say laser tag. Laser tag. And then I'd walk in with my Nike made all mirror outfit. Be like this motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus. Just, just reflecting <laughs> lasers everywhere. He's using science. That's illegal. <laughs> Even the ROC is confused. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't understand. He's a cheater. Oh, how can we not use steroids for this shit? Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. Um, Olympics. The Olympics again. You cocksuckers. I think that Olympics... was just a, just a small thing. That's you it. I just wanted to. I want to see dueling. I don't want to okay. see. You want to see like UFC. Fencing. Isn't Olympics. fencing? It yeah, is. Fencing is, is gay. Is Are you gay. talking about dueling like in the old days where you back to back, take 10 paces, yeah, turn, and shoot? That's what I want to see. You know what? What? That's, was a, a, that's not a even showdown, a bad idea. Like in the that's... middle of the dirt road, like a cowboy. It's even not even better. a bad idea with even paintball guns, a shootout. That's actually not a bad idea. Because yeah, you would know who shot bad. first. Right. Mm-hmm. Or, by the color of the paint, right? Yeah, well, just in general, you, but by you. Oh, he got hit first, you know? Right. That, but it'd be the stupidest thing in the Olympics, though. Like the stupidest guy. That's the stupidest thing. thing? That, yeah. That, that would be the stupidest. I, I, I feel don't care. like if that had, would be stupid. If you had dueling, I think the crowds would be. I'd watch Phenomenal. that before I watch breakdancing, which is in the next Olympics. It is. I'd watch dueling. I'd watch paintball dueling. Breakdancing is... Where's the next Olympics again? Australia? I don't, I don't know. I don't Ireland? Know. I don't know. Uh, Alaska? Someplace stupid that's doing breakdancing. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Qatar. Oh. That's, that's World Cup. We're all going to die in the sun. Johnny, I'll duel you. Pick a date. I got, a Whoa, I got you, several paintball guns. Yeah, he'll do you. Pick one. Whoa. I didn't say do. That's the fit. Yeah. Apparently, has other things on his mind. That's do what I heard. Reach around, all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, you guys are the the worst. butt lick maneuver. I mean, the Heimlich maneuver. <laughs> ah, you guys. Are Speaking just... of Olympics, I think Olympic sports should be a test of strength and agility. That's right? called the CrossFit Games. You guys remember uh, the look on your face is like yeah i guess right <laughs> well, you got something there do you remember uh was it dan and dave it was a reebok yeah yeah that thing horrible yeah, reebok yeah, campaign yeah, they're yeah, like yeah. the catholics who's gonna win the gold remember? one didn't even make it one and didn't dave even won medal. something though dave medaled yeah he, he got sure. a silver he one of them silver. medaled yeah horrible though it was so bad it's so bad well, the white guy just... medaled or maybe it should be sports that you can actually use in survival, like some sort of skill that if you come, you know, if you need to survive, this is, I can do it because I've been training all my life. The only reason I say that, because I was watching synchronized swimming. I'm like, what is the purpose of this shit? What is the purpose I mean, what's of this? the fucking purpose of all those games? Because if you're running from someone, a bear or a tiger or somebody, and you're at the edge of a cliff and you look down and there's water... I can dive. I got so you this. basically want hunger games. I can games. do a triple, triple. <laughs> the you want so hunger so games. <laughs> you want like, all right, there's 12 of you. We release seven bears. Good luck. What the fuck? <laughs> Saying. And at the end of there, there's a cliff. Well, I just it's don't just... see <laughs> like, what? swimming as, an, as a needed skill. Anything I mean, for anything. Yeah, that's yeah, because it could confuse the shit out of people. Like, what are they like doing? You, like you got you and your friend are running, just jump in the pool. What just do that fucking routine? And the guy's chasing you, stop and go, whoa, 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 oh, whoa. This is man, good. He looks really pretty. Just <laughs> this is pretty good. Look at his feet flutter yeah, on top sh- of the water. Shoot well, them when they're done and see how long they can do this shit for. <laughs> like I like Carlos's games. Uh the bear kills you. There's a duel. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, like oh. running man. I totally pay to see that shit. Oh my god. So yeah, yeah. you're the worst. They're never gonna hire you for the Olympics. Dude, they would totally. I mean, if they want ratings, call me. If they want ratings, they have breakdancing, which makes no sense to me. 
How do you judge it? <laughs> well, one year they were going to have ballroom dancing, but they canceled it last minute. Like, mm. no ballroom dancing. That's dumb. Wasn't that as dumb be, as speed walking? Was that supposed to be this one, right? No, no, this no. was years ago. It was mm. like 98 or something. Could you imagine that shit? Oh, my God. That's what I'm saying. You could put anything in the Olympics because they're just games. <laughs> and sometimes I feel like they put marbles? stuff in to, to appease a crowd that they know they, didn't, they can't win shit. So they're like, they've been for years they've been trying to get their little game in. Come on, let us just get this in. We're really good at pop locking. What about battle yeah, rap? I Finally, yeah, you know I don't what? Know. Sure. Yeah, battle rap. I, I just don't <laughs> I rather someone says, that. you know, like I'm an Olympic athlete. Look at my medal. Like, what'd you do it for? I pop and lock in. Yeah. <laughs> or it takes I mean, away even... some of that that credibility. Like, you know, like some, well, some like people talk that... about their jobs and yeah, they yeah. like embellish it. Like what do you do? Oh, I feed families every day. I, I, I keep, you know, I nourish children. I'm like, oh, you work at Subway. All right. Well. Yeah, I work in the cafeteria. Or uh, the real, estate people, real estate people. Real estate people. I find people's dream homes. I'm like, well, you, you take 6% commission. <laughs> you want them to buy a big ass dream home. Like, so you're not making oh, dreams. Yeah, well, they true. can afford or not. Oh, yeah, you pre qualify for this, don't you? <laughs> I what mean, do you do for a living? Oh, I sell about- sweaters for cold butterflies you know the people that win you know a gold medal (laughs) for marksmanship that's so stupid there's skill involved but it's there's it's stupid i think the worst is i got a gold medal before i can walk really fast (laughs) and the rules for that are stupid hopefully it says the sport on the uh the medal so like so you don't fake that shit oh yeah i got this woman oh i'd love to meet the speed walker Oh, you gotta, yeah, let's test that shit out, bro. What do you mean? Come on, let's go. Let's like do a little hip circle behind him. Walking, why would not have who can whisper the loudest next time? Whisper the <laughs> loudest. <laughs> <laughs> Your games suck. God damn it, man. No, man. You already lost. Walk. I fucking heard you. <laughs> like, who can whisper the loudest? <laughs> hey. You suck. Like, are you just straining your voice? I don't well, know what's at this the point. Difference what's a loud whisper? Walking fast. <laughs> what's a loud <laughs> whisper? I want to know that. What's a loud whisper? Please give us an example of a loud whisper. That's just it. You but if you don't understand it, you can't participate. That's right. You can't even judge because you don't know what's going on. There's no way you'll even qualify, so shut up. How do you even do it? <laughs> All right, up next. I'm this, you know, from Ukraine. Igor, loud whisper. I don't understand this fucking game. <laughs> but he's a got great form. He's, <laughs> he's doing a good job. He's a little, <laughs> a little low. He's a little low. A little louder will help him out. <laughs> it's, in the, it's in the name. Oh, oh the affliction was a little wrong on that one. Uh, yeah. Probably lose a point. All right, you know, what? I think I'd be impressed cr- if if those competitors like were in their teens. Oh like, man! No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> to be that young and to control your whisper like that. You think the judges, <laughs> the judges for that one, sit in the very last row to stand? <laughs> yeah. We can't hear you, Igor. <laughs> okay, I'm trying nobody, my best. Nobody keep it down. Just... Yeah, yeah. Like, but just... old people couldn't participate because they think they're whispering, but they're super loud. You know? Yeah. So, you know, it yo, just, it just sounds like a buzz. Oh, wait. So you're finally going to have an age limit? Well, no, they probably wouldn't qualify. <laughs> like, they probably wouldn't qualify. Oh, my God. They're all I'm, enhanced I'm, with their fucking fuck. hearing aids and shit. They're going to put your Olympics <laughs> fucking on the Ocho for sure. <laughs> no one the Ocho, watch. yeah. The Ocho. Good Lord, man. Like yeah. slipping slides in the Olympics somehow. Like, fucking. Yeah, fuck. You remember the uh, the homemade slip and slides, the garbage bags? Oh the my soap. god, we tried that on your front yard so many times. And then like the, we didn't realize like the momentum would take you to the streets, <laughs> into the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, kids are idiots. That's why they shouldn't be Olympians. Slip and slide was a blast. <clears throat> I fucking love that shit. Yeah, that's oh, good. man, it's good times, man. Fuck up the grass, that big time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got my ass whooped a couple times for our fun. Yep, yep, yep. Well, before we well, remember the cardboard slides down your steps. You mean yeah, yeah. You inside yeah. the house down the stairs? Yeah, inside yeah. the house. Yeah. yeah, cardboard and slide down the stairs. I remember uh, you came over one time. We when we moved to El Grove. We were just bored. There wasn't shit to do. So Are we just started like oranges in the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> we just started throwing oranges like just 
you think you can get it through the fan blades? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> see, you see this stupid shit? It's probably Olympic sports. There's another man. sport right there, man. Fucking <laughs> these guys. A bunch of turds. Just combine them to like whispering while you fucking throw oranges, oranges, oranges to the fan blades. <laughs> That'd be a whole different segment of the same thing you know how they have track and field it's oh, a whole different right. part like of the, the whisper relay. yeah yeah, yeah. It's like a whole different like they have okay here we go whispering while on the phone <laughs> like what it's a different one here oh but go. then you get a gold medal for listening to listening oh. to whispers oh. <laughs> oh my god i heard what you thought <laughs> this is the worst shit. Oh, that'd be a good game. You know that game where you whisper in someone's ear at the beginning of the line, and you got to see if it's the or same thing at the end of the line. Right? Yeah, is that what it's called? Yeah. So whoever gets it right, yeah, the team it'll be a team event. So whoever gets it right, the closest at the end. Yeah. Fucking just put Pictionary in the fucking Olympics. Like, <laughs> that Pictionary. What's the other one? Uh, that board uh, game Olympics. I, that's what I want to. <laughs> Twister. Like, you know, the one where you have to act out the words. Oh, charades? charades, charades, charades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, just take game shows for Olympics. That's it. That's all. Mm. Instead of who wants to be a millionaire, who wants to win a gold medal? It's just the same shit, but it's just you only win medals. See how far you can get. That's it. Mm. You see a commercial on TV? They they're making uh, the medals out of like used like cell phone parts and stuff like that. I saw part of that. Yeah, yeah. Hmm, so they're real? not it's they're not, not all gold. gold? Yeah. Do only the bronze medalists get it? I was just Are they solid gold? Uh, there's no way. No, there's no way. This like oh, that'd be uh, fucking pricey as shit. Don't you remember the Winter Olympics? I don't know if it was last or the, the one before, where the medal was actually a crystal. Piece oh of, yes, glass, yeah, and yeah, it was just yeah, yeah, And it just had like a gold border. A yeah, those look pretty accent. cool. Yeah, 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 those are pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. No, but it, there's no way that'd be solid gold, man, or solid silver. That'd be no, no. it'd sell them right away. Oh shit, yeah. Fuck, man. I'd get shot for it. I'd be on the podium on my phone on eBay listing it. Put that shit up right away. Johnny would be protesting something, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I whispered lower. <laughs> he did. <laughs> That's how Johnny would yell too. Hey. Hey, come here. I got they, inter- they interview him. So why do you think you got second place? I mean, this is pretty loud, right? I don't fucking get it. <laughs> yeah, it and I just want to say I'm representing all the LGBT. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what was that? Hey, what do you whisper? They give you like a card? Here, sir. Read this card. Uh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said, yeah. pick up the fucking eggs. <laughs> I need salami. <laughs> and what if you you get a squaw fight as soon as you do this and get some bread, sir? That whoa, was not whoa, a whisper. Whoa, whoa. Oh, foul, foul. Ruining whoa, the, the decibel of our needle whoa. went way whoa. out. Whoa. Oh, he's out. He, he didn't whisper. Use Man, your inside voice, sir. You're in the very voice. bonds of whispering over here. Get out of here, kid. <laughs> You got teeter. suspended six days <laughs> for just fucking yelling. They give you like the scenario. You're in a packed theater and you got to tell your wife to pick up your kid from daycare. Yeah. yeah. I doubt it. That's, Go get um, the kid. That's see, not loud though. It's not a loud whisper. I, you know, I don't know who I'm going against. I'm trying to yeah, right, right. That's true. He's just trying to qualify. I mean, this <laughs> is just the first <laughs> round. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to go all out. You don't want to give your best right yeah, away. You walk in you for your last round, man. Yeah. He walks in and this guy looks pretty athletic. All right, here I go. All right, fellas. Like, oh, he's pretty good. It's, this is gold medal shit. My right neck would be like, a, I'd have like a horse neck, you know, because I work out my neck only. So I could whisper. <laughs> oh, I'd wear a ton of gold chains. Oh, uh, man, I look so like just the silliest dude. But whisper champ, headband on, everything. I'd have a turtleneck on to keep my neck warm, you know. Right, you know, all that shit. They ask you, how do you get so hyped up? I just imagine them whispering, you know, sweet nothings, baby. Like, like okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, shit, I think that's my wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, something like that. <laughs> oh, I just imagine I'm in a packed club and I can't hear anything, but I don't want to be too loud. But I'm trying to get my point across. I said, get me a drink. <laughs> that wouldn't work man you got to be loud in the club well you loud whisper you can't you know you can't really yeah, say things. the loudest whisper I mean. yeah the loudest whisper that's how you get good you practice at clubs <laughs> well there you go i guess that would that's work. your yeah. training you know the bartender i said i want a red bull vodka can i get your number 
Yeah, what? what? You whisper you get in trouble because like I'm, I'm training, babe. Yeah, <laughs> going to the club. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, that's just the stupidest shit ever. All right, we're gonna Should leave pole with dancing this, in the Olympics. Okay? We're gonna leave with the, I might. That's your Olympics. Fuck it, your Olympics mm-hmm. are just like white trash Olympics. Mm-hmm. Um, last thing here we go. Carlos had this one, so we're gonna go with it. You meet you. You find a lamp. The lamp is a genie. The genie says you get three wishes. There's only two rules. You cannot wish for more wishes you cannot wish to have his powers you can't like wish for special powers so that way you can't just grant your own wishes what about what are bringing people good. from the dead yes genie rules genie rules can't bring back from the dead. Like, you can't yeah. make someone fall in love with you you can't become a genie you can't have more wishes yeah so those are the things you can't do but you get three wishes what are your wishes i'm pretty sure you've thought about this before yeah i i've and then like uh i've I worry about it because I, it depends on the genie, right? Like that movie Bedazzled with Brendan Fraser. It's like, I want to be a superstar athlete. Then they gave him a tiny dick, you know, things like that. I, I'd worry about that. I mean, let's just say this this genie is legit. Whatever you All want, right, legit genie. Give you. We, grew, we grew up together. Like, Robin Williams genie. Like, yeah, I mean, this is straight Aladdin. up, yeah, Aladdin genie. Like, he's hooking you up, man. All right. Well, Aladdin Genie free, was full you know? of shit because every wish he got, he didn't really get to keep any of it. If you think about it, so it's all full, full of shit. So, but go ahead. Number one, mm-hmm. uh, money. Okay. I want my house paid for. So you just want like, it, infinite just money. House, huh? I wouldn't say infinite money. Uh, I would just say you know my house paid for and then. And all my income can go towards other stuff. Okay, that's your first wish. Second wish. First wish. And you got the IRS knocking on your door. Shit. Yarny, how'd you pay this house off? What's going on? <laughs> right. Uh, Where'd you get the extra here's income? my here's my genie clause right here. <laughs> I got my genie stamp. And then all uh, of a sudden, internal affairs looking at your shit. Like Johnny, what's going on? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that wish, but you can have it though. Go ahead, continue. We're finding flaws in the next one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we'll say, uh huh. I wish I could. I don't know. As a fat Carlos? guy, you want to say like you you for a hot bod, but maybe I just wish for motivation to yeah to watch to follow words, through. Dude, this this you wish is hot like, bod. Uh, all of a sudden, you're like got hot flashes all the time. We got a sunburn uh, all the time. You're right, like, you're the you're the dickhead word genie. Your shit correctly, man. These are not good wishes so far. This <laughs> is number one. Pay my house off. Number two, motivation. <laughs> Get you a poster. <laughs> you want a fucking poster you know, with a fucking cat? That's a like he's gonna, <laughs> no, not even that. He's just gonna be like, all right, come on, Johnny, come on, you can do it. All right, wish I'm number two. Trying good. to be realistic with the oh. wishes. Uh, okay, what if the cat looked like? Three. What if the cat looked like the genie in the poster? Would that be a little more motivating? Oh, oh genie, thanks no. for the question, I would, man. I would have to wonder about. My, so, my but wishes. your motivation though is is like to get fit, to get like you know in better shape and so forth. Like you want that type of. Why motivation. even bother? You got a genie. Hey, genie. What if he just spam Arnold? Make what if he body? just no? Not even that because Johnny doesn't want. He said he doesn't want like a shortcut. He feels like he's cheating. <sighs> so what if the motivation is well, like? Well, isn't hey, paying your boom. house off a shortcut? Like, That's cheating too. What if he gives you like a, a gym at your place? There, Johnny. There, Johnny's, Johnny's got one. Now. Yeah, I already got one. It's really nice and so really have, brand so new. You fucking, you <laughs> and really need motivation, motivation, man. You need a lot of motivation. You should sell it. The genie, barely used. The like genie look gym. at your gym and go, bro, let's do number two over. I can't help you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll give you I'll give you one back. Oh, okay. So you have two that are that great. Okay. Um, All right. Well, three. I'll save my third. Why don't you tell okay. me one of your wishes? Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, you got, apparently got really good wishes. Barry. Well, Better mine would be infinite go. money and it would be Anytime I reach into my pocket, I can pull out a hundred dollar bill, no matter how many times I reach into my pocket. That would be my infinite money. Ooh, that's a good one. So you can't necessarily it just won't show up in your bank account. You can't like you know and Carlos did have cash. a good point. Would it, would it be the, the same pants every time? No, no, anything I'm wearing. Doesn't matter what I can wear a jacket, reach in my pocket, hundred dollar bill. Anything I want, I always reach in oh hundred dollar bill. All right, and I can do it like hundred times a day if I want. I can just constantly do it. Like so it was, then technically it's not coming out of your pocket, it's like coming out of your hand. You just got to hide your hand to pull it out. You know what I'm Not saying? Not necessarily. It's right, in my well, what have you reached into my pocket? Yeah. No, then Johnny's no, going to be like, give me $100 same. back, asshole. Stole and then what if you were trying to buy something that's 
two hundred thousand dollars. I just told you that. I pull, told keep you. Pulling it out over and over. Again. <laughs> just imagine in the morning, I could just, just off keep, in his while I'm watching Netflix, just keep on pulling money out of my pocket and pile it. Na, 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 na. It's just infinite, mm. and it's not about that. It's just about having that almost like that daily, like, like you don't have to worry about anything on a daily basis. Like I know I'll always have money on me. Just I have what happens when you me. put some your keys in your pocket? It's turned into a hundred dollar bill. No, is that a fucking... Every time he pulls his keys out, a hundred dollar bill attached you, to you're it. You're using magic. Did you just you're pulling out hundred dollar bills? Yeah, I'm just pulling I'm just that saying. money out of my pocket. Like, like what if you're reaching for something else? Like, what... I'll know what I'm reaching for. Where like, the when fuck I reach is in... my my gun? Let's put it at? this way: when Where I reach chiclets? into my pocket for the hundred dollar bills, it's purposely for that reason. That would be the thing. Let me change it up. How about every time you open your wallet, there's a new hundred dollar bill. Just keep opening your wallet. Like that has to be. I like that one better. I mean, you better not lose your wallet. Just, no, just keep reaching in random pockets. Because what if I don't have my wallet and I just have like basketball shorts on? I'm gonna go grab something real quick. Oh, you don't got no oh, pockets no. in basketball shorts. You shouldn't yes, have you pockets do. in basketball shorts. What if you had the Those swimming trunks shorts. with the little coin are, no, purse, go. right? But yeah, you just have to reach too. in there and pull it out. Yep. <laughs> Anyway, it's like an infinite. It's like infinite money. You just, like I said, it's more or less you're purposely reaching for that money. So it just, it's almost like, in a sense, it is like a magic hand. In a sense, like a yeah, that's the magic hand, man. But magic you, hand. but uh, you can't just, you know, I'm not that person that's gonna poof. I'm, oh, it's in my hand in front of people. No, but that's just it. You got to put it in your pocket to hide it. So yeah, nobody that's knows. What I mean. And you have magic like, powers. Like, then you have infinite money. That's that's how we do it. And then magic can pay anything off, really. Yeah. Even but if you when just, you go like McDonald's. You got change for a hundred? No. Nope. Well, you're not gonna necessarily have that hundred dollars either. You're gonna have you're gonna already have change from your broken hundred dollar bills. Oh, what damn. if you have no money and you walk in and you're like they don't take fifties or hundreds? I'm like, mm, God, oh man. Then you go somewhere else. Like, what if you, you travel? Keep, keep the change, but you just keep what the change. Is, <laughs> keep change my but can you convert to euros? I like oh. that idea. When you go <laughs> out you go. to different countries, it automatically converts. <laughs> automatically converts. If you go to like yeah. the Philippines, you can pull mm-hmm. out a chicken out of your fucking yep. pocket. It doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> yep. Fuck yeah. Okay, good wish. Good wish. Next Mexico. <laughs> Mexico cocaine. Everything. <laughs> no what it is. But that'd be my wish. Infinite money, like this is kind of, you know. In your hand that you can pull, pull out of your ass. I guess it would happen. When, like, yeah. when you're visiting Epstein Island, you pull out of like uh, kids and shit. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, no, that'd be that. That'd be number one. Um, well, I guess it would uh, have to be cash. I always know paper trail. Like you want no, to no, it has to no be receipt. cash. Yeah, no, it has no. to be cash. Yeah, because then you can at least deposit it too. No one will know. They would know. Yeah, right. Like, hey, cash is gonna have the same from? serial well, number. Well, not. That's right. Not, I have different serial numbers. No, but not, you wouldn't deposit large amounts at a time. You'd probably like, okay, I'll put three hundred dollars one. But day, why bother depositing at all? Well, that's true too. You don't have to deposit it exactly. Oh, what if, like, you know? But what if you're trying to buy a, a house? You have to, you know, you want to deposit it, right? So, pay that shit in cash, man. You make a cash offer. Fuck. All right. Number here's my suitcase full of money. Uh, number two would be. Um, no, because we can't do like magic stuff. We said we can't really do magic stuff. Um, you just can't wish for more wishes or, or get magic powers. To well, be what you mean. well, yeah, because I'd say I, let me teleport places. You can do that. And that's what I would do. Teleportation. That'd be my number two wish for travel purposes. I want to go anywhere I want, anytime I want. I don't even want to drive you take anywhere. anyone with you, or would you just as just long yourself? as someone is touching you, they can travel with you. <clears throat> so if they can have their hand on their shoulder, or whatever, they're allowed to go with you. Yep. So that would be like, all right, we're gonna go here this weekend. Just for the weekend. They allow two of... carry-ons. How many carry-ons? Oh, you, whatever you're carrying on your backpack, as long as it's on you. But you know what? You really wouldn't need that, right? Because you can like poof home to shower and change. That's exactly. And that's how to, I look right? at it. Exactly. Because I'd be like, mm-hmm. we're gonna go to London every weekend, every I mean, every week, every evening this week. But we're gonna come right home anyway. We're gonna walk around. But, and be, enjoy. but with oh, you can combine your powers then. Because with your cash power, you can buy a condo or something. Because you don't want to just poof somewhere and something. Like, Where the fuck this guy come from? Oh no, I would book a hotel into room. a wall, or you know, you want to poof yeah. somewhere that you know yeah, it's yeah. empty and oh for safe. sure. Yeah. yeah, I've thought about that. What if this power only works if you can only teleport to what you can see? Mm. So that means that'd, that'd be a long trip, dude. No, no. But what I'm saying is you'd have to get to the tallest point you can first to start. That way you can see like another point as far as you can to get there. What the hell That's are you going to see across the ocean, you dumb shit? No, no, no. To a TV. I can see it. Boom. I'm watching live TV in oh, Europe. So it can be virtual. It doesn't have to be virtual. No, as long as I can see it, I can teleport to it. 
like the Olympics. I don't even know the new the, date, the name of the dude who was always broadcasting there on that little hotel or wherever he's at the balcony. Oh yes, yes, yes. So you can just watch him and go poof. I'm a pup right next to him. I'm right beside him. Hey Brian Gumbel, what are you doing here? What the fuck are you doing here? Gumbel, hey. Man, your timing is what if your timing is off and you're fucking in that Snickers commercial? I would have said, You're like, fuck, I thought this was Tokyo. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but you know, the, the point would be you could tell just teleportation. That'd be the greatest thing ever. It really would. And that'd be number two. So infinite money. I could teleport anywhere. That covers two huge things. That covers all my travel for free. I have money with me at all times. My third wish is probably motivation. Get you a poster too, man. <laughs> get you a poster. Ooh. Oh man! Third, get you a motivation. If, your, if your third wish was to make me feel bad, well, your wish just came true. Because this right here is a real uh, tear, sir. That cut me deep, Shrek. Cut uh, me deep. I don't know what the third one will be yet. So, Carlos, oh, give me man. two. The giant is given two. I got two. Give me two. I was thinking about it, but I, I was like thinking, well, what if I had immortality, right? What if I could live forever? But I would have to like, I'd have to write this shit down. I have to have like a compendium, like I have this big old printout, have the re genie read this shit. Because what if he goes, all right, you can live forever. What if he, he makes me like, have you seen the movie Old Guard? Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of them was immortal and they put her in a box and they threw her in the ocean and she drowned. But then she'd come back to life, but then she drowned again, come back to life and drown again. Or right. something like that happened. I'm just dying over and over until it, something breaks the cycle. I'm immortal, right? So I need to make sure I write this shit down so the genius. Well, what kind of immortal exactly. are you though? Like, can you make it so you can't die no matter what? Like, meaning well, no, they couldn't die. Either. The, those old guards couldn't die either. They just they drown, but then they come back. No, so I get it. I just. Hmm. I mean, well, I mean, you can't have the stipulations, right? Because that's right. You can't add stipulations to it. So no, yeah. that's why. That's why I said I got to hear Jeannie read this shit. You need to study this. This is how I want to be. I mean, because I would want the same as a third wish. Hey, I want to live forever, but I want to. Can you revert me to when I was 25 and I'll take over the rest right, at your peak? Not like. Yeah, yeah. Right, I want my yeah, peaks peak. 14 yeah, and I was yeah, doing yeah. gymnastics, right. but. <laughs> <laughs> but, that's but right, like, on, um, <clears throat> like on interview with the vampire, how Kirsten Dunst was. Always, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what I mean. I'd be like, hated it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me be 25 year old me. I'll, I'll live for any of you say, Well, there's some things about living forever, blah blah. blah. Everybody, everyone around well, you is always gonna die, and you're gonna have kids you're gonna outlive. And I'm like, That's cool, you know. And yeah. but living forever is hard. Well, that'd be hard too because people, well, here's catch the thing on though, you would like, have to save one of your wishes though. You would have to save one of your wishes because what if something happens to the earth or to the planet or I whatever? Mean, you're just like, I wish you for you to fucking kill me, yeah, exactly. Down. I wish for you to kill, I wish I was dead. But there's no, I mean, eventually you're gonna get tired of this shit. Like, you know what? I'm I'm done. Or what do you think if you lived forever? I wish I could go back in time. If you lived forever <clears throat> and the world was coming to an end, I mean end for everybody but you, right? Yeah, exactly. And but what if by that time they're going to space and doing shit where they they're fucking living and then you just jump on one of those motherfuckers? Yeah, you could have money, whatever. Well, that's fine. That's works, but what if the earth explodes? I can't breathe in space. Well, that's just it. Yeah, you, you can't die. I got to make a stipulation. I'm like, hey, man. Saying you can't, <clears throat> you know, you're going to live forever. So you can't die. What if regardless. I said, hey, Genie, make me turn me into Superman, right? And then he gives me whatever he knows in the comic books. But say I missed an issue. And in one of the issues, he turns into a fucking werewolf every five years. <laughs> I'm like, man, I missed that issue. Don't, don't yeah, do but that. See, but you, I don't think anyway. you can't wish for something that gives you multiple things. Like, like, like that's kind of cheating. You know How's what I mean? cheating? Because you're making one no, because, wish really yeah, to yeah. acquire like seven different things. That's like, that's cheating. Like, that's not, I don't think he would grant you that wish because he'd be like, no, that's a, first of all, it's a fictional character. And I'd give you all these things. You can run faster than anybody. You're, you're basically immortal. You're, you can fly. Oh, you have, thank you. Yes. Then what would you do with your rest of the wishes? Ask for motivation. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you, you guys are related because you're both fucking assholes. That was the worst <laughs> wish ever. All right. <laughs> Dicks. Uh, but I would wish that it was what's me your and third the wish, Johnny? Hang on to the tree. Uh, like, <laughs> hang on, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come to the end of your rope, tie a knot and hang on. <laughs> Could you imagine, like, the third wish? Johnny's, Johnny, what's your third wish? Oh, man. The newest Camry came out. 
<laughs> Give me that one. It doesn't yeah. have to be. It can be the base model. That's cool. <laughs> if if my like wishes were based on my Amazon like wish list, would be the worst. Oh, it'd be the worst. Fuck it, hey. I just hey, vibrators. One guy need. I mean, I, I like. It's just. I like. Yeah. Uh, I like the concept of the uh, immort- immortality. Like one of my favorite shows growing up was Highlander, the series. Uh, yeah. yeah. And I just liked how, like, all right, at one point he was a, a war vet. At one point he was a doctor. Like, so he learned all this stuff throughout the years. Gets hot chicks. You know. I mean, it worked, it worked again, out. Again, and he could uh, fight with swords. Immortal. Is it just immortal in in just death? Meaning, if you lose a limb or two, that's your fucking rest of your life's like that. You're fucked. Yeah, it's so many, I know there's so many catches so. to it. Or what if you know? Give me the powers of Wolverine or Deadpool. Or no, no, no. You can't get the powers of shit. Why not? I'm like, hey, this is what I want. Boom, 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 boom. Just, but you're right. He could be like, well, you're giving me all this shit. Just pick one. Yeah, no, I'm telling you. Then so. I'd be like, well, then. <laughs> I wanna put my hand in my pocket and pull out across <laughs> some fucking money and be rich, bitch. Yeah. So I think my third one would be immortality. It would just be like I can't age in immortality and I'll handle the rest from there. See what happens. Dude, if you could reach in your pocket and pull out a Bitcoin, that would be a fucking great wish. Yeah, just give me like but Bitcoins aren't they're not like physical cannabis. items, so yeah, be, that would be a too. stupid wish. You have well, just a bunch go, of dude. fucking Here's fake coins. Play money. It's <laughs> fake money, <laughs> stupid. Oh, thanks, I, man. I got an <laughs> NFT. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, no, I just... um, Yeah, I don't know. The third one, like I said, immortality is a, a good one. I, I mean, that would be what it is. <laughs> Mine would be immortality. And then I would just fucking milk it. Fucking... No, I would agree. If, if I had immortality and unlimited motivation... <laughs> shit. and your house is paid off and my house is, i've got this land <laughs> oh, you don't need anything else. can you imagine you're i'm like the 13th guy he grants wishes to and he shows me the the this is the wish hall of fame like, yes, look Johnny's at what this motherfucker wish for. <laughs> what, <do you> wish <laughs> for what the fuck <laughs> braces what the fuck <laughs> he could just went and got those <laughs> that would you be only would have wished for a hundred dollars in his pocket just like at, at, uh, at, at the genie convention. All right, this motherfucker wished for it. <laughs> would you want he, he um, wanted chicken feet for would you would for, you want instead of regular feet? Immortality or in in being invincible? Where nothing could mm. ever hurt you no matter what you you can jump out of a plane and but never pull your parachute. Have, no, that's a good one too, invincibility. But would you eventually die like of old age? I mean, no, no, some, you would die. No, you would die. Oh, so you would die, but what it could yeah. only so like Wolverine, but only like of aged. right, only of natural causes or of age. Yeah, because your your internal you're invincible. organs aren't invincible. You know, in that regard, you like you're gonna get fall out of a fucking. No, no, no. Plane. What I'm saying is, you're gonna get old. Like your heart's gonna eventually stop one day. Okay, what if I replace it? You're still gonna die. All the other organs are gonna fucking die out. I'll replace too. those too. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> fucking Frankenstein. How many fucking genies you got? I mean, you could go like this. That's you can a go... good one, Johnny. Hey, genie, give me the name of your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> you could tell them, you know, your first wish could be uh, teleport, invincible, and immortal. There, boom. Perfect. I'd rather do those three than have money. You're going to have all that shit and you'll be lazy as fuck. You know why? Because you didn't wish for motivation. Go fuck yourself. I'll just, I'll just teleport to your place. Hey, Johnny, how do you motivate you? Motivate me, man. <laughs> Look at my poster. <laughs> that cat is going to fall, but now he's motivated yeah. to stay right but there. But he's hanging in there. <laughs> Whoa. Right. <laughs> Lame as shit. That's our show. You guys suck. Somebody's going to listen to this and go, I wish I had some fucking wishes to turn this off. Yeah. Fuck. You don't need a genie wish for that. Just join us next Friday. Ooh, I wish Turn I didn't see F9. Oh, yeah. That's uh, a good wish right there. I wish I, I'm not already committed to F10 and 11. <laughs> wow, you're, already, you're pre-committed. <laughs> I mean, I've already seen all of them. Fuck yeah, it. That's true. I just, I just couldn't do it. And don't know if there's... It's, pop- it's entertaining, but not in the way that, you know... Star they, Wars is they probably the only franchise that I committed to. 
Indiana Jones. Even Lord of the Rings, I didn't commit to. I didn't really care for The Hobbit. What about Indiana Jones? Yeah, they're just so spread out. Really, not that many. Really, you know. Yeah, there's um, four. So yeah, it's yeah. not that, that like many. Star Wars is oh. you know a gang of them. If you add all the spinoffs and all that shit, and and uh, even the TV show and blah blah blah. Um, but no, no, like F nine, just no way. I, I think it's also because I don't like Vin Diesel. I just don't give a shit about Vin Diesel. It's the yeah. same character in every oh my movie. God. You know that he it wasn't in part two. Right. They wanted him to be in part three. No, 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 my bad. He made an appearance in Tokyo Drift only if he could get the rights to the Riddick movies. So he owns the rights to those movies. The Riddick. Oh, Remember the Riddick? The, shit, those things well, he's something. doing pitch, all right. For the himself, pitch man. Black or whatever. Pitch Dark one first pitch one. Black and then, the first mm-hmm. one yeah. And yeah, he yeah, made yeah. Chronicles of Riddick. And um, I don't think he has any... I don't think he has any ownership of the Fast 9 movies because that was a trade-off. Hey, if you come back for, fa- for this movie, we'll give you the rights to that movie. <laughs> So. But then what's her name left too though, didn't she? Um Rodriguez? No, she was an F9. No, I know, but she left. She did for a couple movies, she was gone. Yeah, and then she came back. She had, you know, she got brainwashed or something. I think she left because she was dating Vin and they broke up and so she left the franchise. Didn't they bring her back after Paul Walker um passed away, right? What because wasn't she an F eight or no? Johnny would know. She was in the last three of them. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, she was yeah, in the yeah. one with The Rock, with the first Rock appearance. Because that was five. She came that back. was a picture at the end. In the, that's, was right. that's right. Post-credits. It was okay, just, then it was she was in post six credits. Then. Yeah, six and on. Yeah. yeah. Because she Walker's was, like, last one was off. eight? <laughs> no. 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 Yeah, when they did the whole six. superimposed them. Was that seven or eight? When they superimposed them. That must them. have been seven then. <clears throat> when The Rock was going after them first rock appearance it's hard to keep track because they i mean they name it all like faster and furious and then one was just called faster i think and then furious eight. more fast yeah more, more fast yeah yeah and then seven the rock was barely in it fast so. a furious anyway who gives a shit about that movie fuck it enjoy the olympics everyone hopefully it'll be over by the time we come on again <laughs> fuck it that was, we, we better cover the special olympics the same fucking way too God damn it. Because that is going to be even more of a shit show. Anyway. Man. Let's I, tune in, everyone. I, I'm already uh, scared you of that episode. Oh. Yeah. I, <laughs> to my... Here to motivate you guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Timmy. Everybody get a right. poster. Take a poster. <laughs> Fucking motivation. What kind of shit was that? It's just the worst. It works. Fucking. Can you imagine if genies are listening to this fucking podcast? This fucking guy. Oh, wait. I couldn't wish for fictional power, but genies are listening to the fucking podcast. <laughs> Great. I mean, that's the fucking what we're talking about. No, you can't wish for fictional powers, you oh, dipshit. Shit. Shit. Fucking Darn. New York Giants. All uh, right. Last that's thing, a, uh, Ted Lasso thing. 2, season Ooh, 2 started. Man. Yeah, uh, I've already seen it. Great yeah. show so far. My God. Fucking great show. 22 episodes. I fucking know, but it almost makes show. me want to stop watching. Just so I can binge watch. When, I mean, because after season, I mean, episode two, I was like, oh, man, really? I got to wait a week for this. They haven't. What, man, what's the great, what's the great part about season two? So, I mean, it's a good show. But what's all of it so far, man? Like, I forget what happened in the end of the first. Uh, Jamie came back. That was the end of part two. That was yes. The end of episode two. Yes. But yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. Episode one was about the psychiatrist. But what happened at the end? Wasn't there some sort of. There must have been. I don't remember. But no, it's such a good show, man. That is such a good show. Whether you're a soccer fan or not, man, that show is great. Great, great, great. I mean, it's a good show. I mean, that show was fucking Johnny's wish, like the motivation and all that. That dude is like always upbeat. He's always in a good mood. Nothing going to get him down. Win or lose. I did wish to be Ted Lasso, didn't I? Yep. You know, I'm going to take it. That's worth it. Well, join us next Friday. We'll maybe cover uh, some um, uh, Suicide Squad for you guys. Ooh, Suicide Join us squad. next Friday here on Nerds Talking the Podcast. Remember to rate, subscribe, review, turn on notifications, tell your friends, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Reddit. Shit, is there another, is there another social media out there? I don't know. MySpace. Close enough. Oh, MySpace, I think, MySpace. still does exist. So, yeah. Does it? 
We still it does MySpace exist. Page? It does. Remember, Remember Justin MySpace. Timberlake's people bought it. He, yeah, yeah. I think it's more of a music thing, and like nobody movie, caught on to it. Thing, yeah. Oh, there we go. Johnny, say sayonara or whatever. <laughs> sayonara. There you go. What the fuck? You can't even say that right. <laughs> You're not, you, you don't know. Hey, say, it in, <laughs> say it in a loud whisper. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Carlos, tell everyone. Bye-bye. All right. Good enough. All right. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Hey, everyone. It's me, Alex, from The Irreverent Show. Since we're back, I felt we need to give a little introduction to those who've never heard us before. So we're going to go down a long list and listen up, we may be talking to you. Nissan Altima and Maxima drivers, this show is hashtag not for you. You got a Salt Life sticker plastered on the back of your car, hashtag not for you, dickhead. Inkaholic stickers, hashtag not for you. Don't remove stickers from your hats, most definitely, hashtag not for you. Take too long on your ultra late round fantasy picks, hashtag not for you. This list could go on forever and ever. But let's tell you who this show is for. Ballers. Shot callers. Those who have 20-inch blades on their Impalas. Bitches who be bad and bougie. If you can take a few jokes and not get triggered, you're welcome. Because this one's for you. The Irreverent Show. Uncensored. Raw. And uncut. New episodes almost every other Monday morning. We take breaks and we got lies, motherfuckers.